Hey there, YouTubers. It's Don from True Cable coming back at you again. Uh, this time uh, to talk more about our True Cable cut and strip uh, tool that we have. This particular tool has been part of our lineup uh, since practically day one when we started carrying tools. Uh, but originally, uh, we had introduced it to, to uh, address Ethernet cable. But now that we're carrying coaxial cable, um, it, it definitely begs a revisit uh, in regards to overall use and some warnings uh, in relation to this tool. Because as with any tool, if you improperly use it, uh, there is the uh, possibility that you could cut yourself. Uh, there are, after all, lots of razor blades all over this tool. Uh, so we're going to get into some of the finer details and I'll be right back and here we go. Okay, so now we've got some RG6 uh, dual shield coaxial cable. It's something that we've just started carrying. And we've also got quad shield and we have RG11 coming up and we'll talk about that too. Uh, in regards to cutting uh, our solid copper uh, coaxial cable, um, the same cable cutter that you use for ethernet is, is perfectly fine. So you would put it through the cable cut channel there and then that's it. It simply makes a nice clean cut for you. So in regards to stripping a coaxial cable, uh, this being uh, RG6, that's very easy to do. You simply put the cable into the strip channel until it's even with the green here on the side. Turn it a few times until you hear the grinding stop and then turn it two or three more times. And then you'll have one quarter inch section and then you'll have another section here that's been cut and there it is. At the bottom of the tool is a piece of Velcro and people may have wondered what that's been for up until now. That's actually a braid comb and it makes it easy to simply brush back your braid shield so that you can prop up your cable and get on your F connector. So it lets you get all those little pieces folded backwards. You don't poke your fingers or anything like that. And it makes everything nice, even, and you can easily get your F connector on there without too much hassle. On occasion, you may need to strip RG7 or 11. Uh, and like I said, we will be introducing 11. Or your blade may wear out and you may need to replace it. Well, how do you do that safely? Well, what you do is you grab uh, this cartridge. It's, uh, it's a press fit. It's not glued in. It's, there's no latches. It's just simply a pressure fit. And you grab it by these two tabs that are on either side of the cartridge. And then you simply pull straight out. Like that. Now, in that process, be very careful to not cut yourself on these blades. Uh, because these blades are very sharp. And so whenever you're pulling out this cartridge or putting it back in, keep your fingers well away from the top or the bottom of the cartridge. Keep it on the two tabs at the very front of the cartridge like so. And to put it back in, you're simply reversing the process and there it goes. Now it's back in there. Okay, so here we have our RG11 or Series 11 uh, coaxial cable, and this is the really big stuff. And um, just to compare, that's the 6 and that's the 11. So as you can see, there's a really big difference between those two guys. Uh, so our cut and strip tool can still pretty well handle this big RG11 with the exception of one thing, and that is that the cable cutter on here is an absolutely no, is no way going to cut this really big thick cable. You're going to need uh, a much larger cable cutter. For example, our true cut tool uh, will handle this cable well, uh, but you're simply not going to get that in there at all to cut it with the traditional cutter here. So, uh, but what it can do, this tool can do though, is still, you can still strip it. So I already switched around the cartridge to the 7 and 11. Uh, so it's marked 7 and 11. And again, when you're pulling this cartridge out and putting it back in, be really careful because it is press fit and there are sharp blades on it. So just be careful with it. So we take the RG11 cable and we put it through the tool just like so in the front strip cavity. And you're going to line it up so that cable jacket is even with the green at the side of the tool here. And you're going to start turning and you're going to start feeling and hearing a grinding noise. And that is it cutting through the first level strip and the uh, braid shields. Then you're going to continue uh, turning this guy 
maybe five or six more times, especially on the really thick outdoor stuff, uh, so that you can cut into the second level strip, which is further back. And there we go. So this is the first level strip. That's a quarter inch, that's gone. It exposed your conductor. And then you've got the second level strip right here and you simply pull it off and there it is. Now we've only got a couple little pieces of wire so this is still a good strip. And again, uh, you're gonna use your braid comb to comb all of these uh, braid conductors backwards onto the cable jacket. And then because this is quad shield, uh, you would also need to uh, snip off some foil here, take it off, and then continue combing back the second braid shield. But essentially, that's how you prep up a leaven with this tool. So useful for stripping and for combing back the braid, but not good for cutting. So anyway, I thought that would kind of clear things up and people could uh, get a better sense of what this tool can do. I hope you liked this video. Uh, give us a thumbs up or a thumbs down as you see fit. Uh, go to our Cable Academy at our website uh, for more information and uh, some great video content. And subscribe to our channel if you like our videos. Uh, we would love you if you left comments for us, and we are happy to answer them, and we always do. So you have a great day. Happy networking.